in 1936. FDR is enthusiastically, enthusiastically renominated by the Democratic Party in a convention that eliminates, as we mentioned, the two-thirds rule for nomination and makes nomination a simple majority. Roosevelt's acceptance speech was heard by millions on radio, and that it articulated the basic theme of his reelection campaign, which was an affirmation of New Deal policy combined with a spirited attack on those he called the quote unquote economic royalists who sought to concentrate power in their hands by creating an economic tyranny in the United States. These economic royalists, he said, complain that we seek the overthrow of the institutions of America. What they really complain about is that we seek to take away their power. How do you think Republicans responded to that kind of rhetoric? And it's exactly the way the Republicans today or yesterday responded to President Obama's call for higher taxes on the rich. What did they call it? Class warfare. And Roosevelt was not only initiating class warfare, but was a traitor to his class. You know, God, you're this upper class guy, and here you want to attack, you know, your fellow upper crust Americans. Roosevelt is a traitor to his class and was being accused of waging open class warfare.